Dobro Veche, Divine Pisces 222. Couldn't get one out this morning, so I'm going to go ahead and do collective now. Um, these energies have been absolutely kicking my butt today. Just uh, so, so much depressive energy. It's ridiculous. I, I couldn't focus today, like, at all. Oh, it was horrible. <laughs> anyway, so we've got Scorpio here, which, you know, usually indicates to me, of course, the ending of cycles. So I do definitely feel this is happening just across the board, guys. It's been happening for a while. Things are ending um, so that, you know, new beginnings can happen here. Um, I feel that there's still some resentment happening here with the ending of these cycles, like just some fear um, to release it. Um, definitely there's some depression coming in, obsession, that sort of thing, addiction coming in as well, um, which may be part of what's ending here. There may be addiction issues in some of these connections. Um, or with, with counterparts in general. Okay. So, um, that's coming in really, really strongly and it's been coming in strongly for a while with the, the death of the cycles and everything like that. I, I definitely feel a lot of sexual energy coming in because of that. A lot of anger, a lot of passion, a lot of, <laughs> a lot of rage coming through here. Um, which I find interesting because we've got it followed by Capricorn, which usually represents to me, um, the devil. Um, not sure why it was skipping, honestly. <laughs> okay. So anyway, also rep represents karmic cycles. So I definitely feel some conflict in the karmic, uh, situations and that sort of thing, but also a lot, still a lot of negativity, um, codependency, toxicity coming in here. Um, that is keeping some counterparts still feeling stuck in their situations here, but the recognition is there guys. The recognition is there that these situations are toxic and that they need to end, right? And still a lot of ego death happening here. Still a lot of towers coming in very, very strongly. And I've been feeling this for a while. And I know I've said this before, you know, if you, you've been putting off the ending of a cycle, if you've been trying to control the ending of a cycle, if you've been trying to, um, you know, keep your stuff, keep your stuff together, so to speak, you know, a tower is coming regardless. And these, these cycles will end whether you in them yourself or not that the universe is going to step in and do it for you okay um and so with this i definitely feel there's a lot of self-doubt coming in there's a lot of instability coming in but there's almost also a like a resurgence of self or a resurgence of self-love here coming in which is really really important of course that's the whole point of the journey is self-love um so uh, it, it's it almost seems, almost seems like a contradiction, but it's not. Okay, so the death of the ego bringing in confidence. Does that make sense? Um, because the ego is really what keeps you stuck in that fear mentality, in, in that cycle, in that cycle of toxic um, uh, toxicity and codependency and that sort of thing. It, it, it keeps you there because it makes it, it makes you feel like you're safe there when in when actuality. Actually, who? I think I just talked through a mini stroke. Um, <laughs> actuality, it's um, it's trying to protect you in a way, but not in the way that it should be, if that makes any sense whatsoever. So let's take a look at my masculine. Let's see what's going on. <laughs> yeah, so there's there's definitely an imbalance here with masculine and feminine energies bingo duh we know that right um but not just with the counterparts but within like divine masculine's having a really hard time balancing out these energies here that's like he's too much in one he's too much in the other and he can't seem to find balance within right and so that's that's basically what is happening now okay with the realization of the toxic cycles and the ending of the cycles and that sort of things trying to bring balance to the situation okay um trying to balance out the ego and and help divine masculine to trust the intuition more um, and so, it, yeah, so actually, this is actually perfect because you have 
the divine, the masculine and the feminine and um, the, the heaven and earth. So basically it's balancing out the 3D, which is ego, and the spirituality, which is intuition. Okay? Um, so, and I love this card because it, it kind of depicts the world here. So again, karmic cycles are ending, but it's like Divine Masculine is really putting up a fight here. Divine Masculine is really resisting. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Divine Masculine is resisting the ending of cycles. What else is new, right? Um, and so Divine Masculine is trying to, really, though. I, I do feel a lot of Divine Masculines really want to come forward with the truth. A lot of them want to speak their truth. They just feel like they can't at this time, but they know that they have to. Um, especially to Divine Feminine. A lot of them are, do feel some regret with Divine Feminine right now, that they haven't been forthcoming with whatever it is they haven't been forthcoming with, that they haven't been truthful. They haven't been in their authentic self at all with anybody. So Divine Feminine, don't take it personally, okay? Um, but they're really they're really striving to, to break free of that deception, okay? Um, and that's part of the ego death that's coming in right now, okay? Because as of right now, there's just a, there's just a major imbalance within Divine Masculine, Okay, I feel a lot of heart chakras definitely closed off right now, and and that's a really hard thing to open. Okay, like when when that becomes open, that's when the emotions come through usually, um, and so a lot of divine masculines, of course, don't like to feel emotion, so they'd rather just close it off. But when that happens, all that ha it, it just builds up, builds up, builds up, and a lot of times it comes through as anger. So um, I feel a lot of imbalances within divine masculine right now. Okay, so. Um, if you're not in communication, if you're not in, in, you know, or if you're in separation, it's probably a good thing right now. You probably don't want to be around them um, because th there's a lot of inner struggle happening right now, okay? Um, like I said, a lot of sexual energy, um, definitely a lot of, I just feel a lot of anger, a lot of rage coming through with Divine Masculine right now. Just like a lot of frustration, not not feeling balanced at all. They, they, they really don't know which way to go here, like at all. Okay, um, and it's like they're they're wanting to come forward though. That's the thing is is they're wanting to see they're wanting to come forward with truth here, but they're just feeling so unaligned, so unbalanced right now that a lot of them might be actually afraid of what they'll say. Um, either afraid of what they'll say or afraid of what your reaction might be. Okay, so keep that in mind. All right, divine feminine. Um, but yeah, I mean, they're just, in their situations right now, they're very unfulfilled. A lot of them do feel broken. They feel, um, like there just is no cause for celebration at all. They can't seem to find it. There's no joy there. Um, and so that's part of the reason why, you know, I mentioned addiction earlier. A lot of them, they do engage in that sort of behavior because they're trying to numb the pain, guys. They're trying not to think about it. They're not. They're trying not to think about anything really. But mainly, they don't want to. They don't want to face their karma. They don't want to face the emotions that come up with that. They, they want to speak their truth, but they, they don't want to handle the aftermath. Okay, not just with divine feminine, but with, you know, whether the karmic situation is, uh, because there's still a lot of truth that needs to be told in those situations as well. Okay. So be patient while Divine Masculine tries to figure it out. <laughs> so Divine Feminine, yeah. I feel like Divine Feminine also a little bit in her emotions today. And I know I've been feeling this. And again, I wasn't sure if it was the collective, if it was me, if it was my Divine Masculine. I have no idea. All I know is that today has been very, very depressive. Like, can't shake the energy feeling really really down no matter what I did I couldn't get I couldn't get myself out of it I'm still kind of in it right now um and it's almost like it's almost like divine feminine's kind of being pulled into into the spiritual realm right now okay really really trying to use that to problem solve does that make sense it's like you're being forced into this energy in order to really use your intuition here. Like, um, and some of you, some of you maybe have received an apology or will be receiving an apology from someone, or you're going to be apologizing to someone here. 
okay and and that that takes a lot of strength to do okay but but keep in mind you know it is a lesson so if you do need to apologize for something don't don't beat yourself up about it just 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 do it okay clear that karma okay um but i definitely feel a lot of divine feminines are really starting to to really move forward in their strength here i think a lot of divine feminines are trying to stand in their strengths um because it's 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 been a roller coaster right <laughs> been a roller coaster um but divine feminines yeah divine feminines done with this this codependency nonsense too like really uh, you know done done kind of holding back done holding on to her feelings you know wanting to just release all of this nonsense so that she can move forward in her um for her highest good right um and i feel like a lot of divine feminines you know you have been sending energy to divine masculine you know you have been trying to you know, send healing to the connection, you know, and it's like Divine Feminine, I feel like a lot of Divine Feminines are frustrated right now, you know, um, it's like some of you are just like, I wish this would go away, it's, it's not going to go away, it's not going to go away, Divine Feminine, it's not, okay, um, but if, if you're constantly reaching out, um, and sending energy to Divine Masculine and it's draining you, you might need to um, put a lid on that, okay? Um, and some of you also haven't really been in your authentic truth, and it's time to do that. It's time to stand up. It's time to speak your your truth, okay? Maybe that's to divine masculine. Maybe it's to yourself. And of course, maybe it's to a karmic situation, okay? Um, so keep that in mind. I, I, there's a lot of mirroring happening. It's been happening for a long time. But divine feminine, you you lead the way, right? Um, you steer the boat. Well, actually, you lead the boat. Divine Masculine steers, right? But in this particular depiction, it's all Divine Feminine. <laughs> okay. It's all Divine Feminine. All right. So look ahead. Don't look back. Okay. Don't sit there in resentment or regret. Okay. Just release the things that need to be released. All right. Speak your truth so that you can move forward in integrity. You can gain your strength. Okay, and you can deal with what you need to deal with. Okay. All right, let's take a look at connecting energies. Yeah, hermit mode. Hermit mode, blessed hermit mode. Yeah, and then followed by the moon. So yeah, it's like calling your, your attention back to your intuition, um, especially divine masculine right now. And Divine Feminine, I feel like you you feel like you're kind of in between two worlds right now. You're, you're not really quite sure which one you need to go forward in. <laughs> right? Right. You're not really quite sure which, which way to go. Um, and so some of you are still dealing with, like, third parties. Some of you are, are having, you know, inner child issues come up. Some of you are dealing with situations that involve children. Okay? But remember, it's all a healing it's all a healing process. It's all in a lesson. Okay. So, um, and the children themselves, you know, there, there's a reason why they're in these situations too. Okay. There's something here that is needing to be learned as well. Okay. There's a cycle that needs to be broken with these children. Okay. So keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, I definitely feel some towers coming for the collective guys. They're coming. Some realizations are about to hit. Um, I feel like some really big ones are about to hit right now. And um, it might knock you on your butt. Okay. Uh, but yeah, a lot of emotions going back and forth right now, guys. It just... Yeah, look, Five of Pentacles. So so it's like a lot of you are are in this energy, this this depressive energy, because, you know, you're, you're sick and tired of being in this energy, you know. So it's like you're really trying to move out of this energy, but it's like... You feel like you feel like it doesn't matter which way you go you're going to feel stuck okay and you don't want to feel stuck you don't want to feel defeated right <laughs> you don't want that anymore you don't want the codependency you want to move forward you know and this is across the board this is not just divine feminine this is divine masculine too they don't want this guys they don't they don't want to be here they don't but they feel like they have to right and so the decision is right there before you okay you're being you're being pushed to make a decision about what to do. Do I need to say anything else? Okay. 
it's the lovers in reverse okay so making a decision basically for not just the connection but for for self-love for yourself okay um and some of you that may involve walking away you you may have to walk away from the connection okay that might be the decision that you need to make okay there may be a codependent um, cycle within the, the connection right now that's been making you feel this way and you don't want to feel this way anymore, okay? Some of you have felt really, really left out in the cold by your counterpart and you don't want to feel that way either, okay? Um, and so it's like... I feel almost like a distorted feminine energy coming in like i feel like some divine feminines are in distorted feminine energy right now okay which can be very manipulative and it's like it goes into ego and sometimes you don't even realize you're in it so divine feminine you might want to check yourself okay um but a lot of you have been operating in ego and not even realizing it like you you feel you thought you were operating in intuition and you're actually not you're operating in ego and that may be the tower that you're hitting right now or that you're about to hit okay um, but you need to get out of your head okay you need to get out of your head you all have been too much in your head I know I'm just as guilty so preach into the choir but need to get out of that energy okay guys his and look bottom of the deck tower Tower, King of Wands, strategy time. All right, let's get some messages from the counterparts. Karma. Okay. Let's get some messages and advice. Okay. Some of you need to return to your meditation. Some of you have actually slacked off on your healing a little bit. And I understand it can be very, very draining. Trust me, there are times I need to take a break. I get it. Um, but you can't you can't stop completely, okay? Whether that's meditation, clearing, you know, balancing out, however it is that you do it, okay? Um, this is just a representation. But some of, you, some of you need to get back into this. Some of you have been feeling so ungrounded, okay? And it's like, some of you, it's just like, you feel like your hope is fading here, right? You almost feel like you're at square one, <laughs> right? Um, but remember, you know, remember, this is what keeps you going right here. Don't don't worry about all the darkness that's around you. It's, it's, it's painful, it's hard, but you know what? This right here, this is what you're striving for, okay? So use that intuition, get yourself out of this energy, okay? Um, Y'all have been too long in that, okay? And you, we're all still learning. We're all kind of learning as we go, okay? So don't beat yourself up. Things are going to be fine, all right? And just remember to trust the universe, okay? There is a plan. There is a plan. There is a path. Just follow it, okay? Follow it with integrity. Balance yourself out. Use your intuition. And keep yourself grounded, okay? And purge if you need to some of you need to some of you have not purged in a long time some of you have been suppressing your energies some of you have been suppressing your emotions because you're afraid of what's going to come up don't do that that hurts you it hurts your twin too okay so if you need to purge purge guys release it let it go all right it's not the end of the world okay all right guys Thank you so much. If this has helped, please like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.